Good morning everyone and greetings from London. Yes, as you've uh, just seen my usual walking to my location or I do that where possible and that. Oh, what is it about the locations that I always choose it has loads of people literally right in front of me as you can see. Yeah, major pathway. I've had like four people go out in like the last minute and a half oh well if anyone asks me what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna say i'm filming for youtube because <sighs> i can't just stand here it'll do my feet in as well as take my time off so anywho now i didn't document every single stage of while i got here most one because i didn't want anyone to think uh oh if she's come from that station they might work out which line i've come on and of course for privacy reasons i haven't done that but also is because um, you could get here from a few different places. But first things first, where actually are we? We are in, um, uh, as you saw, Prince Consort Street. We're sort of in the Kensington area, as you saw. And that. Um, so basically, why am I here to document this lovely building? There you go. Because do that and everything Oof. oh god that's creepy no there's a bit of a, a ledge down there so yeah and then so why am i here to document this building well you've um if any of my regulars have seen me before you know that i am a big howard carter fan of course howard carter who discovered tutankhamun's tomb dare we say this and actually no i was just thinking actually um anyway basically um 100 years ago today i was just thinking for the fact that ah uh, depending on when you guys actually see this not giving away my lead time which is quite in advance um funny enough it will be a little bit before um his anniversary um but of course he discovered Tutankhamun's tomb it was either the second or the third week of November geez even my brain's starting to go frazzled now and that but we're here and that now unfortunately I don't know which one of these properties is god I'm sorry if this is really rambly I I do apologize for being rambly because I have noticed that some of my um using my analyze people do seem to skip through my videos so i do apologize for that but then on the other hand there's lots of others that i know that do like this detail so i'll just carry on and that but this now i know you're going to say but wait a minute what about that home that you showed us in photographs in your putney valley video from last year well that was well we'll actually come to that home but this home now, I don't know exactly when he actually bought this. I've really been trying to do my research on this because I always like to be accurate where possible. But let's put it this way. This was his London home, as in his own personal home, when he did find Tutankhamun in 1922. And furthermore, when, you know, of course, he wasn't here when he found Tutankhamun. He was in Egypt. And of course, he was out there for quite a well but you know particularly after like especially like after he excavated the whole tomb which did take a few years so we'll probably be talking you know mid-20s or whatever anywho he had that home then and so i don't know when he bought it it might have been end of the war maybe or even maybe just before he found the tomb anyway who knows we can't seem to find out that information sadly and that but of course once he excavated the tomb and of course Lord Carnarvon died before the tomb was and that and then this was his main home like probably I would say if I had to guess if when he came back after he excavated it that would probably be about the mid 20s but I definitely know he lived here all through the 30s and that until he actually died in 1939 so he did have this home for quite a while now the only reason why i can't tell you which apartment it actually is is because when he lived here it was counted as 3a and unfortunately they've changed all the numbers on here but you know sometimes google maps can actually 
give you some subtle details. Whenever I've actually looked this actually up on Google Maps, it always, now bearing in mind that is the centre of the building, so that might just be why, but they always home in on that middle section there. So I'm just going to take pop luck and say round here. But of course we know it's somewhere in this building and in fact I believe it is actually up for sale for about five million pounds this this apartment. Yeah it's quite luxurious in that. I'll I'll show you some photos from like the real estate and all of that lot. So yeah and that and of course everyone always thinks of when they think of Howard Carter's home they always think of his other home that's got his blue plaque. So yeah so I bet you anything, that's a few things you didn't know about Howard Carter when it comes to his London properties. So, yeah. So I'll just give you one last view of this. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, guys, isn't it? And that. I do hope, I don't think there's any wind today, but I do apologise for that. I did notice there was some, a little bit of a breeze on my way down, which is why I didn't talk or anything. So yeah, take care guys, come along to my next spot.